G'day my fellow media collectors and welcome to the comic book movie Collector's Guide, your show about collecting all things superhero cinema. I'm your host Troy and today we have my monthly collection update. So let's see what I picked up for the month of May 2023. Let's get into it. Okay, first a couple I have for you and uh, as you know I've been picking up a lot of Walking Dead over the last probably six months or so and like I said go out have a look for Walking Dead if you're after it the prices are coming down because no one's picking them up anymore the, the, let's just say the uh, interest has waned <laughs> shall we say so that comes to my first one which is Fear of the Walking Dead Season 5 on DVD, and I got this off eBay for $12.50. Not a bad, that's Season 5, I think there's 6 and 7, oh, and maybe an 8. So, not too bad, that's pretty far up the line so far, so to get it for $12.50, that's a pretty good price. You're still looking around your $15, $20 mark for that. So, I think I talked the guy down to about $12.50 actually. Um, but yeah, another one in the Walking Dead series, thank God. And I think they've just announced that they've got was it Walking Dead, Dead City or something like that? Oh God, I thought this thing would, pardon the pun, die by now. <laughs> but it's still going. Anyway, I'd, anyway, but yeah, if you're after the DVDs, trust me, the uh, interest is waning, so time to start picking them up. And of course, uh, as, as you all know, I updated my list recently and uh, added a few new ones, and Tarzan's on that list, and that's what I've got next. Tarzan's Revenge on DVD, and I got this off eBay for seven dollars and eight cents. I uh, took the diet down a couple of bucks, uh, probably around the price that you're going to pay, uh, anywhere from ten to fifteen if you can find it. Not a great deal out there, uh, but yeah, happy to get it for seven dollars. Only problem is, and this is, pardon, pardon the French, but this is what shits me: is people just put it in flimsy cardboard little envelopes and of course guess what happens yep look at that busted case I mean lucky I've got some spares and I can replace it nothing wrong with a disc thank Christ but yeah come on you know you're paying good money for these things and you send it like that anyway but for seven dollars I can't really argue <laughs> but anyway another one for the Tarzan collection so that is Fear of the Walking Dead season five and Tarzan's Revenge on DVD. Okay, next few I have for you, and I hit up some Archies this month, and the first one I have is Archie's Funhouse on DVD, and I got this off eBay for $8. Not a bad buy for that, actually. You're still looking around the 15 or so mark, I think, 20 bucks, depending on where you where you look. Um, I think this guy had it for 10 bucks. Talked to me a couple of bucks, as I like to do. If they say make an offer, I make an offer. <laughs> and I got it for $8. Very happy indeed. This is the 78.6? 76 cartoon. Uh, I don't know if this is the full lot. Um, it's a three disc set, so it may be all the episodes. I'm not 100% sure. I haven't had a time to check it yet. And uh, on that same vein, I was looking, for, as I spotted these, I spotted this next one, and that is... The Archie and Sabrina Surprise Package. This is a four disc DVD set. And I got this off eBay for $8 as well. That's a bargain for that one. I've seen that around the 15, 20 buck mark as well. Uh, this guy had it for eight but Didn't have to talk him down. I just snabbled it up for eight bucks. Very impressed. Now, I got this one. This is the four disc version. But then I seen another version out there, which is the same. The Archie and Sabrina Surprise Packet three DVD set and I got this off eBay for $4.75. That's why I bought it for $4.75, I can't argue. But, okay, one's four, one's three. This has got 500 and something minutes. This has got 545. This has actually got more content than this one. Three discs, four discs, work that out. Um, so maybe there's more on this than that, hence why I've ended up buying both, just to be on the safe side to make sure I had all of it. Uh, I think it was a combined cartoon of like a short cartoon of Archie and then a short cartoon of Sabrina. I'm not 100% sure, but same again. I thought for that type of price, I'll buy both and then that way I've got it covered either way, whether this has got more or that's got more or episodes or whatever else. So anyway, that is Archie's Funhouse, Archie and Sabrina surprise packet, four disc set and three disc set on DVD. 
So the next few I have for you in the same vein as Archie is some Harvey Turns. And I got Harvey Turns Volume 1 on DVD, and I got this off eBay for $8.95. That's a pretty good price. You're still looking around your 15 to 20 buck mark. Um, there was a couple of 10s, and I spotted this one for $8.95. Snabbled it up. Quick smart. Four discs, and that includes, where is it? 28 episodes. Um, I think they're all up. There's like 57 episodes, I think, of the, all the short little cartoons that they put on films and stuff, and it makes up the whole Harvey Toons set, which went for about 10 years or something like that. Uh, so, of course, I've got Volume 1, uh, and the main reason I got this one is because of Casper, to go with my Casper collection. Um, so, I've got Volume 1. Well, you need to get... Harvey Toons Volume 2 on a DVD, and I got this at eBay for $7.20. I got this even cheaper for this four disc set. Now, this one goes up to from 29 to 52. So, yeah, I think it actually it might be about 60 episodes. I know there's a few episodes missing. Uh, you can get this in a complete set. Same again, still missing the last few episodes. I think there is another release out there of like 16 DVDs. Um, that they did before this collection years ago where I think you can pick up all of the cartoons. Uh, I haven't seen it as yet for sale, but I know of it. Uh, but this looked like this was the best way to get most of it anyway. I may get a chance to get the other ones down the track maybe, but for the time being, this pretty much completes uh, that Harvey Toon collection. So that is Harvey Toons Volume 1 and 2 on DVD. Okay, next couple I have for you, and this is one that I didn't know was based off a graphic novel. This one I've only just found recently. I was watching a video of James Gunn, and he was talking about some of his favourite comic book movie adaptions. And this one come up. I know, I know of this movie, but I didn't know it was based off a comic book movie. Um, it just, yeah, blew my mind. But uh, yeah, I couldn't resist, and as soon as I found that out, I went out and bought it, and that is... Old Boy, this is the Korean version on DVD, and I got this for eBay for $11. Took the guy down a couple of bucks and he took it. Uh, there are a fair few versions out there, and they are around the, oh, I'm gonna say 20 to 25 buck mark. Uh, this was the only cheap one out there. Um, and there are a few different versions I noticed. Uh, this is obviously the Australian release. Um, but you can get, like, your, your obviously, your UK and American versions. And they're a lot pricier. Um, but, yeah, I couldn't resist it at that price. And, of course, apparently this is a phenomenal movie to watch. Um, and because there is this version, I also found out there is another version. And, of course, that is Old Boy, the American version on DVD. And I got this eBay for $6.95. Now... Look, I like Samuel L. Jackson, and I don't mind Josh Brolin, but this is an American remake of a Korean classic. Please, you tell me out there, is this this is obviously better than this one, right? Is, is this any good, or is this just a dog of a, a take? Let me know in the comments down below. But I thought for the collection, I had to get both. <laughs> but yeah, I'd probably want to watch this one, I'd say. So that is Old Boy the Korean one and Old Boy the American one on a DVD. Okay, next few I have for you. And my local JB Hi-Fi had a special two for one on Blu-rays. So you can't argue with that. So I raced in there and picked up a stack. So first one I got was Batman the Doom that came to Gotham on Blu-ray and I got this from JB Hi-Fi for $12. Really keen to see this one. This one looks really good, really gothic, real kind of like that Justice League Dark type sort of thing. So uh, yeah, very keen to uh, give this one a watch as I am pretty much all of these <laughs> movies. Uh, but yeah, this one especially, this one looks quite interesting. I'm, I'm keen to give it a watch. Uh, the next one I got is Batman and Superman Battle of the Super Sons on Blu-ray. And I got this from a JB for $10. This is another one I'm keen to see. Uh, of the two, uh, what do we got? Jonathan Kent and Damian Wayne. I love Damian Wayne. He's just, he just doesn't mess about. He is just a straight talker, straight shooter. 
uh, he's the ro he's the he's my favourite Robert actually. I like him a lot. So uh, I really can't wait to see this and the co and the uh, dynamic between the two sons would be fantastic. I imagine so. Yeah, yeah, definitely keen to give that one a watch. And of course, I also got Black Adam on a Blu-ray, and I got this from a JB Hi-Fi for twelve dollars. Finally got it. Um, it's fun enough. You know, I, I didn't mind it. It's not great. It wasn't worth 15 years worth of wait, that's for sure. Um, but for myself, you've got to see Dr. Fate and Pierce Brosnan play Dr. Fate. So that was a major tick for me. So, yeah, yeah. It may have been a bummer of a film, but, like, not great story-wise, put it that way. But, you know, I didn't mind it. But, yeah, to see Dr. Fate up on screen... Yeah, uh, I was happy enough with that. So that was enough for admission price for me. <laughs> anyway, that is Batman, The Doom That Came to Gotham, Battle of the Super Sons, and Black Adam on Blu-ray. Okay, and the next lot of Blu-rays I got in that special. The next one is Greenland Beware My Power on Blu-ray, and I got this from JB Hi-Fi for $10. Super happy to get it at that price. Been waiting to get this one for a while like a bit of the old GL myself, and uh, a good mate of mine, Adele at Delon Movies, recommends this one, so I'm keen to give this a watch. Uh, very much up my alley, very keen to see that. Uh, and the next one I got was The Legion of Superheroes on a Blu-ray, and I got this off JB Hi-Fi for $10 yet again. Um, this one looks pretty good. This has got a lot of special features on it, and really keen to see their take on the Legion of Superheroes. Everyone always seems to have their just slightly different take on the Legion. And uh, yeah, I'm curious to see what they do with this one. So uh, yeah, very interesting. A few of the regulars there and a few of the different ones. And that's the beauty of Legion. There are so many members that you can always pick and choose and really mix it up who you have in the uh, Legion of Superhero. So yeah, very keen to see that one. Now this one, this one's a bit of a mystery. This one is the Justice League X RWBY uh, Superheroes and Hunters. Well, did I get that right? Huntsman. Um, on a Blu-ray, and I got this from a JB Hi-Fi for $10. Now, this is about as um, anime as you're going to get. So, by the looks of things, they have done a Justice League crossover with... Um, what does it mean? Well, the heroes of Remnant, Ruby, Wise, Blake, and Yang. I don't know. Is Look, I'm not huge on anime, so I can't really say I know who these guys are, that they're big enough to to uh, cross over with the Justice League as such. But the premise looks interesting as far as how they've changed up the uh, Justice League. They've transformed them into like a real... They've all got their... like. Um, a different sort of look and feel. So curious to see what they've done. They always seem to put that spin on it. Uh, kind of like if you've ever watched the Star Wars uh, Visions, I think it was, where they gave all these uh, studios Star Wars and said, make it your own. And there were some great takes on Star Wars. So I'm hoping it's something similar to that, where we'll see a, a real fresh take on uh, the Justice League. So that is... Green Lantern, Beware My Power, Legion of Superheroes, and Justice League X RWBY on a Blu-ray. Okay, last couple I have for you, and if I've said it before, I'll say it again. It was a hard toss-up between which one of these got bargain of the month. Um, both of them are price-wise, bargain of the month price-wise. But I've gone with availability on top of that. So this one is price and availability for the bargain of the month. But the one I got first, like I said, this was a close call, was, and I finally stepped into this arena. I don't know how comf comfortable I feel with it. But anyway, My Hero Academia, season one on Blu-ray. And I got this off eBay for 20 bucks. Now, if you are an aficionado of anime, uh, anime can get quite expensive, especially out here in Australia. Why? Got no idea. Um, at my local JB Hi-Fi, this is, oh, what, about 60 to 70 bucks? Like your average anime 
seasonal is anywhere from 180 to 100 bucks. That's at a retailer. That's not online either. Um, I have seen other ones out there for roughly about that. Anyway, they, they vary a bit. Like you may spot one for about 50 bucks all the way up to like 140 bucks. Like I just don't understand it. I don't know if it's just the sheer popularity of it or whatever it is, but to get it for 20 bucks, I was pretty stoked on Blu-ray no less too. Like some of the DVD and Blu-ray prices aren't that different. So yeah, to get this for 20 bucks, that is pretty close to the bargain of the month, but it's very readily available. Next one I got, not so much. And that's why this one is the bargain of the month. That's right. So this is one I have been tra chasing down, wanting, trying to get a hold of for close to three, four years now, maybe more, um, and can never find one at a decent price. And luckily enough, I got it at a decent price. And that is the Black Scorpion on DVD. And I got this off eBay for $24.99. That is fantastic for me. Maybe not for you in America, maybe not as hard to get, but for me here in Australia, very hard. I bought this off a guy from here in Australia. He sold it for 24 bucks. I could not resist it at that price. I literally bought it straight away. I don't usually do that. And uh, yeah, I just grabbed it straight away because if I went to buy this from the States now, I think the last few I looked online, I'm looking at 24 bucks just for the movie. Then I've got to pay anywhere from like 20 bucks. I don't know how why it's so expensive in the days. 20, 20 US dollars up for postage. And then I've got to pay import fees on the top of that. That can rack me up close to 80, 90 dollars. Like it is ridiculous at times to get stuff from the States now. I just really don't know why the price of postage is insane just for a DVD. Yet when I get something from the UK or France, it's only a few bucks and it's probably further. So work that out anyway. Um, so yeah, very happy indeed. Been chasing this for a while. Want to get the TV series. This is the pilot movie, I believe. Then there's a second movie, uh, Black Scorpion 2 and then Sting of the Black Scorpion, I think is the third movie, which I think is just some episodes put together. Uh, but either way, uh, keen to get those and eventually looking to get the TV series, which, uh, like I said, that's going to cost me like, oh God, anywhere from 100 to 150 plus maybe. Oh, ridiculous. <laughs> but anyway, I finally got one and for 24 bucks, I couldn't, couldn't be more happy. So that is My Hero Academia Season 1 on Blu-ray and a Black Scorpion on DVD. Hey, so if you like that, I've got some more collection updates for you right there. Or maybe you want to see some of my reviews. Got you covered too. Why don't you click that one there? And of course, don't forget to do the most important thing. Throw me a bat like and don't forget to hit that subscription button on the way out. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time.